In this time of mass-produced fiberglass boat, Hegarty's Yard exists in a world that is fast disappearing, one where skills and traditions are passed down from one generation to the next. Beautiful handcrafted boats are made with passion and integrity. Hegarty's is the last echo of a long tradition of boat building in Ireland that once took place all around our coast. Different areas produce varying local designs depending on requirements and the sea and weather conditions of the locality. The majority would have been timber built and used for fishing or cargo transportation and a few for pleasure use. Sadly, all the large scale commercial wooden boat builders in Ireland are now gone. This project is a celebration of all traditional wooden boat builders, but most especially the wonderful craftsmen of Hegarty's Boatyard. This yard was established by Paddy Hegarty shortly after the Second World War and now his grandson Paddy Hegarty is the third generation of Hegarty boat builders to work at the same site on the banks of the Island River. Watching these boat builders at work today offers an insight into previous generations of craft workers as their tools and skills remain unchanged. It is a tribute to the extraordinary living maritime heritage that is practised daily in Hegarty's Yard. It is an honour to witness this work and to record this important maritime heritage for future generations. Why the boatyard as a project? Well, I do have a passion for wooden boats, especially sailing boats, and spend most of my time when possible sailing a beautiful wooden Alfred Mill Scottish Island One design built in 1929 around Warring Water Bay in West Cork. As a traditional and classic boat owner and enthusiast, Hegarty's Yard was a natural place to gravitate to. The yard was perfect place for me to explore. I have been visiting Hegarty's Yard for the last 25 years and seriously photographing there over the last 10 to 12 years. The yard is on my doorstep. It is only five minutes drive from where I live. It is for me a perfect place to drop in and have a chat and a cup of tea and to spend quality time messing about with boats and talking with like-minded friends. To photograph anywhere, access without any hindrance or obstacles is so important. The Hegarty brothers, Liam and John, have been so kind in that respect in allowing me to pester them for so long. I have been lucky over that time to build up good friendships within the yard, gaining trust with whom I photograph is very important to me. It also helps that the yard seems to be always open. There is always some type of work going on. So you can turn up at any time of day and find something interesting to photograph. In general, over the years, I find photography has been a good excuse to gain access to places that otherwise I would not have been allowed to visit. I would like people to look at my work and see things they have not seen before in such detail. It is like looking through my eyes and understanding my enjoyment of what I am seeing. I have tried to capture the essence of the process of boat building by recording it through a series of images all working together to create a visual narrative. I hope my work conveys a sense of place and scale and how people adapt to their environment. In making do with the objects around them, boat building is such an incredibly difficult craft. Hopefully I have been able to convey these complexities. There is no such thing as a straight piece of wood in a boat. There are complex concave and convex angles and bevels, shear lines and rabbit lines. 
Wooden boat building is really physically demanding work. Try spending all day driving six inch boat nails into hard oak or using an as to cut a rabbit line into oak day after day. What I do is to produce working photographs documenting what I see and find interesting and to honour the craftsmanship as best as I can. When looking through the viewfinder, I take great care to construct the image. How I compose and arrange what's in front of me, often in the act of taking the photograph, more attention is paid to what happens behind and to the side of the subject. This is why I like using rangefinder style cameras. They allow you to see what is entering from the side before you take the picture, giving you total control of the image. I always try to work full frame with no cropping to the finished photographs. Everything is seen and recorded as is in the camera at the moment the shutter button is pressed. The ability to see and capture what's happening is the pure joy of photography.